So today you join me at the Doric Hotel. Let's go and have a look. Wow, it is windy. Loads of seats in here. All the way around. It's alright, isn't it? That's not so good dirt though. Look at that. Wow. And this is your bar area. So when I checked in, unfortunately they charged my card. Pound extra, so that's a pre authorization which is a temporary hold your money. So they can do this for a maximum of 150 pound. So that's essentially your holiday money taken away from you. Yes, I know you get it back, but not nice, really, is it? Um, thankfully, I've got more in my bank than that, but yeah, I can imagine how it can really screw some people over. Not a bad little bar area, this, though, is it? You got sea views. Just out there. So there is free parking here. You get free Wi-Fi as well. And a free pool, which I'll check out in a bit. And into here, you got like a fruit machine and a vending machine. So then I got into the world's smallest lift, which is the fourth floor. This lift is absolutely tiny. Uh, there's no way you get a wheelchair in here. Ah, uh, jeez. Well. So yeah, uh, £50 extra charge per night. Not the best really, is it? And it can really ruin someone's holiday, that, if that's what you're spending money is. It's not a good thing. Then, what a difference this is. Yeah. Dear guests, only two people in the lift at any one time. Any more and the lift will break down. Well, that's not a good start, is it? Right, so we're staying in room 123. Let's go and have a look. Well, this is the room that I've got tonight. So, it does look slightly different than the pictures, but it's still not a bad little room, this. So I've opted for a single room tonight. It's the cheapest option. But looking around, not a bad size. Certainly bigger than some singles I've had previously. And there's a bag stand. Now, it was in the wardrobe, so i just put it out. Um, and I'm not gonna use them drawers tonight, so that's where we can stay. Right, well, looking round, uh, we've got a bedside table, and that mattress looks pretty comfy, actually. It's not what it's a bit skewed with, but I'll just straighten it. You've even, you've even got a light above the bed. The one thing I don't like is they give you an old-style key, so uh, you do have to remember to actually lock the door behind you. Um, but yeah, I've actually got a sea view tonight, albeit a side one, but this is pretty good, isn't it? You can even see my car from up here double glazing so I can't really hear any noise it's extremely windy today and there's nothing outside right then so onto the wardrobe well I like these do door handles here quite nice aren't they so what have we got we've got pillows in a bag and it's clean up there too so pillows there's a blanket there as well we've got plenty of unstealable hangers uh, there was a bag standing here and now we've got this uh, fan as well so Really good. Uh, pretty well thought about room this. You could easily stay in here for quite some some time with a wardrobe that size. And I really like, that even though this is a single room, you do get an actual desk. So you get a proper desk. I can put my laptop with. Um, so it's free Wi-Fi here as well. So I've got a decent chair. I can work away. What you find is in a lot of single rooms is they just 
forget about all the other stuff that you actually need. So you do need a desk, you do need a mirror, you need a wardrobe. I've stayed in so many hotels that are just literally a bed and a bathroom and that's it. Right then, so. So is the kettle clean tonight? Let's have a look. Well, they give us biscuits, so I'm really happy with this. Not something you get everywhere. Can't eat them, but someone else will. So is it clean tonight? Let's have a look. Well, it doesn't look too new. And oh my God, no it isn't. Look at the state of that. Oof. That is a rough one. So I won't be having a brew tonight, which is a shame because they give us plenty of PG tips and Nescafe there. That is a shame. Right then, let's have a look around the room. Well, we've got a TV on the wall, so it's like the best place. I've stayed at loads of places and they've had the TV behind you or on some really obscure place. So, yeah, it's actually well thought about. Um, right then, let's have, go on to the bathroom and have a look. Well, yeah, it's a bit dated in here, isn't it? Definitely could do with a bit of updating. But for the money I've paid, I think it's okay. It's very clean in here. Um, although, just looking at that bottom of that shower tray, it doesn't look too good, there, does it? Ooh. No, 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 no. Yeah, not a fan of that. But, apart from that, it looks good. So they give us a couple of smellies. For some reason they put them on top of the toilet. I don't know why. The sink's there. But yeah, we got uh, soap and a few other things. So this one, Taylor of London. Yeah, I've had them before, they're all right. And we've got the bug roller. Now that is the cheapest of the cheap. So, yeah, not the best really. Right then, I want to say shower, and it is an old style one. But, I suppose it's functional, and everything's shining. So let's have a look if there's any pressure. Okay, oh my God, that is probably the worst shower I've ever seen. What is that? That's not even a dribble, is it? That is an absolute joke. And that is the maximum that it'll go to. Oh my God. So even the pressure is not great, but look at the state of the shower red. It's black, it's green, it's every color, but the one you want it to be. So yeah, although it looks clean on top, that is pathetic. Right then, what else do we get? Well, we get a hair dryer, one of the old type, wall mounted. And there's even a, a light and shaver socket. Apart from that though, that's it. That shower is really disappointing. You always need to get a few things right and that's a decent night's sleep, a decent shower. Well, certainly failing on that one. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Steve staircase as well. Right then, so I have told them about the water pressure and they've given me a different room. Look at this, look at that step there. Wow, quite a big step that. Right, so it's a bit of a maze this place. Oh, bear with me. So the door's not looking in the best condition. But, this is a refurbished room. Look at it. So yeah, I went and told them that the pressure was just ridiculously low. So yeah, this is what they give me. And this is actually the pictures that I seen on the website when I booked the room. So albeit I booked a single, but this is how it looked. It didn't show you any pictures of what it was um, in the, the other room there then. But bonus, I bagged a double room tonight. So happy days. Looking around this one, you can tell this has all been recently done and I've got a frontal sea view so straight out to sea, really good. But again, I can't really hear anything, so that's good. Not a bad size room either, quite spacious. There's a big wardrobe over there, not gonna go through everything again. But is the kettle clean in this one? Let's have a look. No, unfortunately it isn't. It's just as dirty as the last one. Maybe a bit worse, but they've given us biscuits again. I'm sure I'll have them for later on. But the bathroom is the bit that was really the issue. But yes, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. So pressure, let's see if there is any this time. Well, first of all, it's the old style taps there. So, you know, you've got to mess about trying to work it out. 
So let's do that first. Okay then, so there isn't loads of pressure, but that is a damn sight better than what it was before. So you can tell it's just really fine. It's not hot yet. I've turned only the hot tap on and it's not even lukewarm yet. So let's give it a minute and see what it's like. Okay then, so that's been running a good 30 seconds now and it's still not warm. It's not even lukewarm, so yeah, see what happens with that one in the morning. Hopefully it'll sort itself out. So what don't I like about this place? Well, not a lot really. The place itself is really nice. Uh, and although I didn't get a, a refurbished room initially, it was still more than acceptable for the money that I paid. Um, you get a sauna, steam room, jacuzzi, swimming pool, free parking, free Wi-Fi. Not a lot to mourn at really. However, what really soured it was the pre-authorization. Now I'm in a position where uh, it didn't really bother me that much, but I can imagine there's quite a lot of people out there who are coming on budget holidays and for a £50 charge to be taken away from your account so you can't use it at the time. That's what a pre-authorization is. It's a temporary hold of your money. So you're authorising them to take in uh, at least £50 off you. So for that to happen, I think it's a big, uh, big issue really. Um, you know, it could really take away someone's savings, which would pay for the holiday. So you spend your money or you, your food money. Fifty pounds is a lot of money to take. Most hotels authorise your card for a pound, uh, and that then allows them to take more. But for them to take fifty pound off you per night, it's quite a lot. Let me know in the comments below what you think. But that's just my thoughts on it. Right then, so this is the pool that's actually included. So this is free. There's no extra charge for this. And they do actually have an outdoor pool. It comes out of season. Um, this is the one that's open. So it's only three foot deep though. So you really are going to struggle to swim in this. But there is a jacuzzi here. It's really, really warm. As is this water actually. Um, so it's certainly not cold. There's also a steam room. So I use these quite often. And this has got to be the hottest one <laughs> just rush through here so you've got your toilets and your showers just through here again the old style and there isn't a lot of pressure so it's a bit grotty actually in this one it is roasting like really really hot a lot hotter than in any steam room normally so there's also a shower poolside as well but that's a cold one but not bad. Uh, unfortunately, there's no disabled access here. So unlike the Norbrek, uh, where the Norbrek has got disabled uh, winches um, and there's loads of level access. But unfortunately here, you've got to come into the basement level by a staircase. And it's the only way to get in. So I'll just show you now, you need a keypad to enter, which is here. If you put this code in, yeah, you're going down from these stairs here, so you've no chance of you disabled. I forgot to mention that you actually have uh, all-inclusive options here at this place. So, um, you can pay a certain amount and then you can have literally all your drinks and all your food. So, a few, quite a few hotels in Blackpool are doing this now. So, yeah, I uh, just thought I'd add that in. So, when you upgrade uh, dinner and breakfast at reception, so it's £10 extra for breakfast and £20 for dinner. If you just did this when you booked it, on hotels.com it's an extra 20 pound extra for dinner bed and breakfast so i'll put a link in the description of hotels.com you can see it yourself bearing in mind i stay here midweek so it's gonna be a lot more at the weekends uh, saturday is always your most expensive day okay so just back from the pool and that was a uh, pretty decent really hot uh, i shall see yourself so uh, right then, that is it for this one. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm going to be leaving pretty early, so I'm just going to end it here. Um, right then, so do you think it was worth the money? I think it was a steal. Yes, that room uh, was a bit dated, uh, and really is a style like this one, is what I've actually booked. But either room, still pretty decent. Let me know what you think, and if you're not subscribed already, please do so. Until the next one, guys.